The F-15 Eagle was never designed to operate from aircraft carriers, and there were several reasons. The F-15 is a large and heavy aircraft with a wingspan of 63 feet and a maximum takeoff weight of over 80,000 pounds. This would have made it difficult to operate from the cramped decks of aircraft carriers, which are typically designed for smaller and lighter aircraft. The F-15 landing gear is not designed for the high-impact landings that are required on aircraft carriers. The landing gear would have needed to be strengthened and modified in order to operate from aircraft carriers. The F-15 is a relatively expensive aircraft, and the cost of modifying it for carrier operation would have been significant. The Navy also had other priorities for its budget, such as developing the F-14 Tomcat, which was specifically designed for carrier operation. In addition to these practical considerations, there was also a political factor involved. The Air Force and Navy have a long history of rivalry, and the Air Force was reluctant to see the Navy operate a fighter aircraft that was as capable as the F-15. Despite these challenges, McDonnell Douglas did develop a carrier-based variant of the F-15 known as the F-15 Sea Eagle. The Sea Eagle had a number of modifications to make it suitable for carrier operation, including strengthened landing gear, a folding wing, and a tail hook. However, the Navy ultimately decided not to purchase the F-15, citing concerns about its cost and complexity.